goes through sometimes. So what I'll do is just get it better in my hand. Hold it there. And then we just take it over the head. There we go, and he's out. That's the Red Bull Quelia. Fighting. <laughs> Off. But they all look like quellias, Johnny. Are they? Yeah. Oh, so we've got a flock. Yeah, and they always go into their own bags because if you put them in, they'll fight with each other and injure themselves. And there we go. Let's go to the next one. So basically, what we're trying to do with the bird ringing is to identify individual birds. Um, and the way we do this is by uh, putting on the metal rings, the aluminium rings, which have a unique number on them. And then we can track them over time, hopefully recapturing those birds at the same sites or if they've even you know moved. I mean. um, with the migratory birds, we've really had records reported from Europe and um, Asia. Um, so it's, we learn from the ringing, um, the migrations, the timing of it, and locally how birds you know, move. Do they stick to their territories or are they shifting territories over time? Um, but also longevity of birds. We're not sure how long all these birds live. Um, so with the recaptures, you know, we're starting to learn how long they do live and yeah, which areas they move to. Um, so in terms of conservation, you can identify areas that you need to, you know, conserve. This was the Red Bull Quellias and then there's the White Winged Widow Bird. No way, nothing. These are all aluminium, or most of them. And then it goes all the way up to the size that you'd put on um, crowned eagles and uh, pelicans, herons, that sort of thing. So this is a long bill crumbeck and it weighs 10.8 grams. You don't want it too tight that it's going to mm -hmm. constrict the leg at all. It says inform Saffring University Cape Town so people know where to send the information if they do find one. And then each ring's got a unique number on it. 29 millimeters. and the bull together. This species likes to pull out the hair on your fingers. It doesn't bite too often, but it seems to... <laughs> but depending on the species, some, like the terrestrial brown bulls, they get quite feisty and they make a lot of noise. These guys normally make a lot of noise. Get him in the sun, the colours, it's just... 